Hey there, my name is Tom Manello and I play and write instrumental music for the acoustic guitar and today I'm going to teach you how to play the intro groove to an original song of mine called Imposture Blues. It's an e-blues tune and follows e-blues form and I'm just going to teach you the intro vamp which I just played for you. So to get going with this the first thing that we're going to break down is the basic groove. What I played at the beginning of the video is the groove plus some rhythmic changes and a couple of extra notes here and there. Here's what the basic groove looks like though. So what you basically got there is an E7 chord followed by a low string lick. So let's break it down into its parts. Beat one starts with your thumb and the low string. Beat two is where I'm going to grab the actual E7 chord. My middle finger is on seven on the A string, first finger is on six on the D string, and finally my ring finger is on seven on the G string. Everything else is open. The way I approach beat two, as you might have heard, is with a slap. So my thumb is landing on the E string, and it's going to stay there after it hits. This is where I'm getting that snare sound from. And to play the chord at the same time, I have to strum it. I'm going to use my first and middle finger to make that strum happen. Here's what that looks like. So those are my first two beats. What follows that is a lick on the low strings. It starts with an open E hammering on to five on the E string. And I'm going to use my middle finger for that. Then I'm going to slide up to seven on the E string. Now I need to add in the A string. I'm going to pluck the A string with my first finger and I'm going to grab seven on the A string with my ring finger. Here's what that looks like. So if we put that lick together so far with everything else that we have, here's what it'll sound like. Now there's another slap that's going to follow that A string. Let's add that in. And that's also happening on the E string. So my thumb again, it's going to land squarely on the E string. Here's what the whole lick sounds like now. Now I just need two more notes to complete this whole bar. After my second slap, I'm going to go back to fret 5 on the E string and grab that note there with my thumb. And then I need to add in a 5 on the A string to complete the lick. Let's put all of these parts together and see what the whole bar looks like. So that's your basic groove. Take it really slow. I know that slapping and strumming the guitar at the same time is kind of a funny move if you're not used to it. So definitely take your time when you're working through this. When you're ready, we're going to add in some rhythmic changes to make this a little bit more interesting. Since we're vamping on this section of the tune, it helps to have little variations here and there to keep it interesting. The first example I'll give you is hanging on to that last note and carrying it over the bar line, that five on the A string. Here's what that looks like. So you can kind of hear that that five on the A string is carrying over the bar line and pushing the low E string a little bit forward in time so that it doesn't exactly land on beat one. We're going to do something similar and add an extra note in another variation. This time we're going to add a three on the E string. Here's what this looks like. So 
So again, we're pushing that low E string that would normally fall on beat one a little bit forward in time because we're carrying this note here, this G, over the bar line. We're going to add in one more thing to spice this up even more. On beat two, when we would hit our E7 chord, we're going to slide into it by half a step. So we're going to approach from the sixth fret. Here's what that looks like. When you find you need more stank, that's how to add it. So now I'm going to demonstrate everything that we've gone through here. Our rhythmic variations, slide here, extra note there. Here's what it sounds like. And there you have it. That's how you play the intro to my original song called Imposter Blues. Keep in mind that when you're learning anything new on guitar, especially if it's new technique, going slow is your friend. Really paying attention to what you're doing at slow speed is going to keep you from developing the bad habits that you would if you were playing through it too fast. So I hope you learned something from this video. And I'd also like to thank Elixir Strings for making this possible. They're my absolute favorite string brand. I use their uh, NanoWeb 8020 Bronze Lights. This is my string of choice and has been for many years now. If you want to keep up with me, you can on Instagram at tom.in.boston. You can also find me live streaming guitar three mornings a week at twitch.tv slash Thank you so much for watching.